For this example, we're going to look at Sapphire plugins inside of Nuke. We're going to take a look at the Cartoon plugin. Uh, the Sapphire plugins package inside of Nuke is running under OFX, which means these same plugins work in Toxic, Fusion, uh, Assimilate, Scratch as well. And uh, the Cartoon plugin is really cool. A lot of looks you'll see on TV today are of the, of the cartoon type of style where people are hand drawn or hand animated. This plugin gives you the ability to simulate that pretty accurately without having to do every single frame by hand, without having to do any of the massive color correction it takes to get that sort of a look. So first thing I want to do is just play through my source clip to give you an idea of how that looks. And then we'll go ahead and apply the cartoon effect and take a look at some of the different controls that you can do uh, when cartoon is applied. So I'm going to just jump back to the beginning of my clip here. I'm going to go to my uh, effect palette uh, where it says Sapphire and then I'm going to go ahead and load the cartoon plugin from the Sapphire Stylize family. So once I've done that, I'm just going to connect it to my source and uh, voila. So you can see initially it's, uh, it's giving you these lines around the edges of the image. They're black lines. We can go ahead and change the lines. We can also do uh, a lot of color smoothing and color correction if we want to either take out some of the saturation or increase it. Uh, but the first thing I want to do is actually look at some of the different controls for the lines. Um, so at the top here we have the, uh, the plugin controls. We have edge width, edge strength, edge threshold, and, and so on. I want to start by adjusting the, uh, the edge width. So basically the larger the edge width, the, the thicker the edges are. So I'm going to start to turn that way up here and you can see uh, the edges seem to be really, really large. They're, they're almost blurred off of the, um, or the lines are almost blurred off of the edges. And it actually seems to take away from some of the, uh, the cartoon detail. What I prefer to do often you just turn it all the way down or very low so you get these really fine lines around the edges and it's almost like it's a pencil type of cartoon drawing when you do this however one of the problems you'll notice and I'll just move it back to the beginning um, I'll show you this, uh, this, this sky background here when you have the edge width really really narrow it's like the edges are showing up everywhere um, you can see a bit of, a bit of edges here on the, in the background sky and what we can do to get rid of those is to uh, take up the edge threshold so the edge threshold basically looks for edges that are more uh, that are longer and more defined and and applies lines to those so as we take the edge threshold up it's basically going to take the lines off of the smaller edges where there's less uh, less of a difference between each of the edges so I'm going to go ahead and turn that up and you can see already that it's done a pretty good job of removing those uh, those edges on the sky so here's the uh, the edge threshold at zero and as we go ahead and crank that way up you can see it's done a really good job of removing most of those edges and again only sticking the lines to the uh, to the major edges in the image. Uh, what we also have is the edge color so you've got obviously black lines as default for the standard type of cartoon look but you can change any sort of different color and do that just click on the color window it's going to bring up your color picker and you can of course move that around if you want to get different color lines and you can see it's updating within Nuke here. Um, I'm going to actually go ahead and bring it down to black but just to show you that you've got all those different controls for the edge colors of the lines. Um, the posterization option also goes ahead and limits the number of colors. So posterize amount, as we take that up, you're going to smooth out the color palette to give you almost a watercolor type of look. So I've turned up the poster, posterize amount uh, quite a bit here. And we're just going to play this back and let you see how that looks. And uh, one other parameter I want to show you is the color correction option for saturation. Uh, again, so you can go ahead and really blow out the colors here without doing anything in particular to the brightness. So I'll go to my saturation and go ahead and turn that up. And again, we can just increase the color for more of a sort of a hyper stylized look, but we're not doing anything to luminance. If you want to sort of just an luminance, we have the, uh, the scale lights parameter that I was just adjusting there. Um, but for now, I just want to go ahead and set that back to one and uh, just adjust the saturation somewhat. So there you have cartoon. Uh, running a, running a nuke with sapphire plugins.